In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create your own AI avatar. There's a link down below to get the guide as we break this down step by step. Let's get started. First of all, go to heygen.com and you can use the link down below to get started for free. After you go there, you're going to click get started. We're going to sign in first. As we look at HeyGen, there are a few things that we can see. On the left-hand side, we can look at the different areas we have. We have the home button here, which gives us the breakdown to where to start. Our learning guides are here, the different templates that we could use, or we can even use different uh, the different avatars. And there are tons of different AI avatars added really weekly. And you can look ahead and see the different styles, what they're doing weekly, and sometimes that less than a week, a couple days apart. Next, if we look on the left-hand side, we see video avatar, where we're gonna create our own instant avatar in a moment. Then we have a streaming avatar, create an incredible conversational AI experience that feels like you're chatting with a real person. A AI voice, so now you can have voices in different languages, all of those different things. We can look at the AI studio, where we're going to be able to personalize the project and really dial in what we are looking for. And then we can have the personalized video where we can record once and reach thousands. This is one of my favorite things to do, especially if we're going for lead generation, and we'll come back to that in a few moments. To begin, let's first create an avatar. We're going to go to video avatar here, and we're gonna create an instant avatar. We click instant avatar here, and we get an intro of getting started. We're gonna see an example of what it would look like and trying to guess which one, which avatar is real and which one's fake. Um, so we get to look at what it could look like, the natural aspects of the avatar, all those things. And so we're gonna click get started. Now, this is broken up into three different steps. And so we're gonna go through what we need to do. First, we go through the instructions. We can go through, I prefer text instructions or I prefer video instructions. For this one, I'm gonna go through, I prefer text instructions. So it says, submit two to five minutes of footage, that's required, use a, use a high resolution camera, record in a well lit, quiet environment, I think I'm in that, look directly into the camera, pause between each sentence with your mouth closed, use generic, gestures and keeps hands below your chest. Okay, so there's things to avoid, stitched or cut footage, talking without pauses, changing position while recording, loud background noise, shadows on, uh, shadows on or overexposure of your face, diverting your gaze or looking around, hand gestures above your chest, using pointing gestures. Okay, that makes sense. So it says, tips, feel free to talk about any topic in your language of choice. Just relax, be yourself, look into the camera, and we'll take care of the rest. I like that. Okay, so we can either look at the detailed instructions here. Okay. This is nice. Okay, so it's going to show two-minute pre, uh, two minute preset script. Okay. That's nice. Choose a topic you feel comfortable about. Deliver a product. Update. Introduce your business. Give a self intro. Sales pitch. Remember to smile and take pauses with lips closed. Okay. Let's say next step. It says upload footage best quality recommended. For most optimal and realistic results, we recommend uploading a two minute recorded. Uh, video, yeah, a vid video recorded with a high resolution camera or a sm smartphone. If you're just testing the product free, free, feel free to submit a 30 second recording using your webcam. Okay, so two minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video real quick and then, um, no, let's use the webcam. We can use a webcam. We're gonna turn on the video and then go from there. We recommend uploading two minutes, okay? And then it says, hey, Jen holds the highest standard to protect your data, optional to allow 
Uh, hey, Jen, to use my footage to optimize future AI models. I'm all about it. I'll do that. Let's do this. Okay, because, and I'm using it mainly because my camera is already my Sony. So I use it as my webcam. I'm just going to do that. Let's switch it over to Roadcaster. Okay, choose a topic to talk about. Um, let's see. Let's just do introduce, a, um, uh, start, yeah, introduce your business. Hey everyone, my name is Doc Williams. And All right, so we have that. So it says for optimal, more realistic avatar, please confirm meets the requirement. I said face is visible at all times. There are pauses between sentences. You're looking directly at the camera. The environment is well lit and quiet. Okay, it says my footage looks good. One last step to prevent misuse of technology. You must need to confirm the person in this video is you. Okay. So let's do it. Start recording. So now it's going to be validating to see what um, what's in store right here. Take a look. It's going to take a few moments, and this is really good because to make sure that this is safe and people aren't bootlegging uh, different people and taking advantage of it. We've seen different cases like Mr. Beast for ads and people being uh, bamboozled. It's important that they do things like that, so that makes sense. We're going to say submit. Video is uploading. Your video has been uploaded. Your instant avatar is being created and ready for you in just a few minutes. Okay, so it's creating my avatar right here. That looks great. We'll take a look at what it looks like in a moment. So let's take a break for a second and then we'll come back to look at my avatar. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to go to the personalized video section. Now this allows you to record once and then reach thousands. We're going to have a walkthrough of a pre-designed script to get warm leads. I'm going to have a video where I'm going to um, invite someone that's filled out a form to then book an appointment and talk to me because I'm creating an app for them. So what I did was I created this basic script right here, um, just in a Google Doc. I said, hey, first name, my name is Doc Williams. I just received a request that you're looking to create an app for your business. I saw your business is about, and then type of business. At Brand Factory, we create custom apps for your business needs and can't wait to start. After reviewing your needs, the starting price to create your app is, you know, $500. I scheduled a, a day on blank to discuss your business and any questions you might have. See you soon. So I'm going to kind of use that script. I'm just going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to use that in an outline, but I'm going to record myself. And then I'm going to scale it into this. So let's look at this. This can be done in three different parts. We have to import the contacts, prepare the video template, and then personalize and deliver. So let's start a project. Here we can have highlight the contacts first name right there. That can be good because it also is attention grabbing uh, for different people. People love to see their own names. I, I like that. Show contacts website. I also like that one as well. Um, and then use the original video. What I think I'm going to do is highlight the contacts first name. I know myself when I see my name and someone, it's like a personalized video. I'm going to stop just for that extra second more. So I'm going to use the same thing. So what I'm going to do, let's do this first. So I have this, the CSV. I'm going to make it a CSV in a second, where it says, how do you wish to import your contacts? You can do it in a couple different ways. You can do it with an automatic workflow using type form. So if you're getting a lot of information from that platform, you can import it there. But it doesn't stop there. If you use Zapier, which, you know, connects to tens of thousands of applications at this time, you can just do that with Zapier. If you don't know if it connects with Zapier, you can just do a Google search. I mean, for example, I could do like, Paper form Zapier. And then we see right here, paper form integrations. And there we go. 
right? We, we know that it's gonna be able to work. So if you're concerned, does my platform work with Zapier? Just do a Google search and you can see it real quick. But for here, we're gonna do a one-time campaign. We're just gonna upload to CSV or Excel uh, contact. I'm gonna do a CSV. I'm gonna go here in Google Sheets. I'm gonna click File. I'm gonna go to Download. I'm going to click CSV, Common Separated Values. I do that. I have it right there downloaded. I'm gonna go back to Hey Jen. I'm gonna click Upload a Contact List. I'm gonna drag that in. Let me bring it over. All right, and so I have all the information right here. So it says first name, I've gotta associate it with each section. So the first name, I click column one because it has to do with my first name. Email, email. Now I have three other variables. So I'm going to need to track that. First one is day of the week day underscore of week. So I remember market new variable type underscore of business. Have that and then one more starting price. All right, and I click that. Okay, so I have those five. Nice. You see that it's mapping correctly, looks good. All right, looks good. Next step. Now this part, I'm going to record or upload a base video to personalize at scale. So it says, say hi to Doc, your first contact. Just be natural, we'll personalize the rest for you. Let's change it over so it gets a good voice. So it's coming from my roadcaster, nice. And now I'm gonna say record a 15 second video. All right, so it's validating. It'll take a couple seconds. If I was, you know, if there's something I really don't want to have in the video, such as like I have my earpiece in, if I want it out or something like that, I can always do that. Um, I usually have it in for a lot of the videos I'm talking, so I'll just keep it in, but that's something to consider, especially because I'm listening to all the footage. That's why I have, you know, have it in right now, but something to consider. Say next step. All right. I'm gonna change the widget style, I think. I like it that way. You can do a couple different things. I'm gonna say the widget right here. Okay, now right here, now that we have the widget style, next, we can personalize your script. You see right here? So it says, hey doc, my name is Doc Williams. So I'm gonna take where it says doc, I'm gonna replace it with first name so we can change it out based on our list of names, All right? Then we have, my name is Doc Williams. I received your submission with a custom application for uh, the application you want to build for your business. I saw that your business is about, type of business, I'm gonna keep it there. Can't wait to talk to you on, I'm changing the day of the week to hear, uh, to hear about all the ideas that you have and how we can turn this into reality. At Brand Factory, we create custom applications for your business. Okay, and then I see right here, it would start at, I'm gonna say starting price right here. So we have um, one, two, three, four different, um, different points of variables that we can change. So we have that, looks good. All right, it says personalize the landing page for your contacts, not edited. Use your own branding with customized call to action. And let's take a look at this. Agent, add calendar event. I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm not gonna do this right now, but this is good to have. If I want them to book, uh, not right now. So I have that, next step. All right. Personalize the email your contacts, reach contacts with personalized emails with a GIF. Okay, we could do that. Edit, we can have all of this. Subject to, okay. We're gonna leave it for right now. Submit. Total number of videos. Now the total number of videos are based on how many people I have in my CSV, in my 
file. So right here, it's costing me, okay, so 0.4 credits. Um, yeah, credit per video. So it's 0.1 credit. One credit equals 10 videos with one variable or five videos with two variables. Okay, so credits is gonna be 0.4 credits. Total number of videos, five. Credits needed, two. Credits left, okay, that's fine. So we submit. Okay, your project has been launched. Click here to view the details. Okay, now it's preparing. So we'll take a look at what that looks like, how it changes the variable, all those things. And we can send it, or again, we can have it structured where it connects to another uh, platform so it can send automatically. Right now, we're just seeing it send uh, manually. All right, so we have that. Preparing five right here. We're gonna go back to the video avatar. And we're seeing that our avatar, let's recreate it here. Check it out. Okay. So let's go with landscape. We're going to go into the studio. All right. So we have this right here. Um, let's see, it says, welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Simply type, simply type your script to get started. Okay. I'm going to say, hey, it's your boy, Doc Williams. If I can spell. And... I can't wait to show you the power of AI. All right, we got that. Pressing the play button. Now, as it's working, I'm gonna actually go to 11 Labs. This wasn't planned, but I'll give you a preview. So 11 Labs is AI voice generator. Some people are saying it's a little bit better than using HeyGen, but we can combine the two. So what I did was I have the I have the script that I use. Let's um, sign up for this account. Okay, hear about us? Probably Twitter. No, I think it, yeah, I think it was for Twitter. Creator. Which type of, are you? What type of creator are you? A YouTuber? Okay, so unleash the power of cutting edge technology to generate realistic, captivating speech in a wide range of languages. Text to speech, convert text into a lifelike speech using a voice of your choice. Okay. Speech to speech, create, a, create speech by combining the style and content of an audio file you upload with a voice of yours. So let's see. I'm gonna go with, okay, English, speech to speech. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, add voice. You ge your generative AI toolkit, design entirely new synthetic voices from scratch, clone your own voice or a voice you have permission to the right to only, you have access to the voices you create add generative or cloned voice. Okay, let's do that. Let's do a voice lab. Voice design, design entirely new voices by adjusting their parameters. Um, each voice you create is randomly generated, entirely unique. Okay, instant voice cloning. It says clone a voice from a clean sample recording. Sample should contain one speaker over one minute. Okay, starter only. So you subscribe. Starter only. Oh, let me do this real quick. It's only three dollars a month. See, they get you on the pricing. That pricing is nice. First month forty percent off. Mm -hmm. What should I do? And eh, let me just subscribe monthly first.
That's how they get you. Starter, first month, 80% off. Can't say no to that. Let me subscribe real quick. All right. So we got a starter. Okay. Okay. Active subscription. All right. So let's go back to 11 Labs. Um, we're going to do a speech to speech. Add a voice. Add generative or clone voice. Let's do instant cloning. Clone a voice from a clean sample. Recording sample should contain one speaker. Should be over one minute and contain it back. Let me make sure it's background noise isn't crazy. Hey, could you turn that down just for a second? Just for a second. Okay, let's take a look. So it's upload. Okay, upload a sample. No items uploaded. Click here. Labels. How you describe the voice. An older American male voice with slight hoarseness. Uh, perfect for news. Okay. So I need to record audio. I'm going to say Doc Williams. Okay, let's record audio. Let's go here. We have this here. All right, let's record it. Let me click here. No items added. Okay, let's go with this. This is Doc Williams. And what I'm doing is providing a voice demo or sample that really shows my type of voice, how I sound like. And that way we can generate something that sounds really professional and great for my YouTube videos. I talk a lot about different type of technology, entrepreneurship, and I need to make sure that I have the right kind of cadence when I'm creating voice applications. Currently only, only allow a maximum of 30 seconds of recorded. We will lift this limit in the future. Okay. We have all of this. Let's add a voice. American. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna now we have this. We have Doc Williams as the speaker. Great cloned uh, videos. I mean, uh, voice setting. Uh, I'm not gonna change anything. Let's change this and add this and hear what it sounds. The difference. Copy. Okay, generate. My name is Doc Williams, and I can't wait to show you the power of AI. I'm going to show you how to get started using HeyGen for your business. Eh, not bad, not bad. Okay. Now, I might do one more. Let's see. What you're seeing is completely fake. Didn't it? So let's look at that. Okay. So what you're seeing is completely fake. I'm going to show you how I did it step by step. It's about that. Let's do that. Copy. Let's do that a little. What you're seeing is completely fake. I'm going to show how I did it step by step. I like that one. Now, so I'm taking this line right here, copy. Going back here. And we're going to make one more video. I already have an instant avatar. Okay, so I use that one. Then I can go here. Uh, 
Okay, let's do that. Okay. What you're seeing is completely fake. I'm going to show how I did it, step by step. Okay, so what we did, uh, we broke down, I mean, from, from scratch. We have the videos that we have personalized, and then I made with uh, Eleven Labs, did an intro. We're going to put this all together for a brand new video and kind of show it, and then you'll have the full behind the scenes, everything like that here. Um, but I think it was important to show like the process and what we did and how you could do it yourself. Um, I, overall, I'm pretty impressed. The onboarding of HeyGen is like pretty much second to none. AI voice, I think it's pretty easy to get started. Um, I think it less prompting, but overall, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. Um, also to show the project here, we can see what it looks like here. Hey Sabrina, my name is Doc Williams, and I just received your submission about a custom application you want to build for your business. I saw that your business is about consulting. Can't wait to talk to you on Monday to hear about all of the ideas that you have and how we can turn this into a reality. At Brand Factory, we create custom applications for your business. For your unique business, after looking at what type of business it is, the application would start at 500. Can't wait to talk to you. All right, not bad. All right, so we have that. Um, all right, so again, we're going to be looking at all of these different things. I think this is a great start. And again, you saw how we use two different applications, starting really from scratch and uh, building it out using a brand new system with 11 labs. And we're going to show before and after what you think about the difference, all of those things. And again, thanks so much for watching. If you like content like this, if you like us breaking down what we're doing, different platforms we're using, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video. Now I'm experimenting with HeyGen and Eleven Labs and all different types of things while I'm in my basement and my cat is going crazy. And you see that cat is in front of my screen right now because my wife is carrying my cat because whenever I wanna do a video and an audio experience without any distractions, things like this, blow up in my face so what we're going to do is we're going to re-record this right now we'll probably have it somewhere in a demo or bloopers but let's try to do it without any distractions and go from there